Welcome to a mini Matchbook Box tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 office, and I'm excited for you to learn how to create these super simple and adorable boxes. These are perfect for our volume five because they fit great um, inside of our collector's box. So you can see down in the bottom of here fits four of these little boxes, and I will teach you how to create four of those. These boxes are perfect perfect for uh, collecting your seashells from the beach, sand, or other fun trinkets. I know a lot of people have a backlogged um, vacation stuff that they still need to put down to the page, so this is great for that. So go ahead and print out those photos already and get out your little trinkets from your last trips, and let's go down memory lane, creating something fun together and safe at home. These have been created for us by the wonderful Annette Green. And another fun idea Annette has is uh, creating these four random acts of kindness and putting a nice little message inside and then leaving them for someone to find to brighten up their days. So we love that idea and uh, we hope you grab your supplies and follow along with us in this tutorial. Are you ready to start creating these mini match boxes? They are just so much fun and easy peasy to make, and they're a great uh, way to use up your leftover embellishments. So if you've already followed along with our collector's box and mini album tutorial, you know that we've got some leftover roses from there as well as some die cut assortments and leftover papers. So this is a great way to use those up. So to get started on our boxes, our mini boxes, we are going to uh, get your project sheet. You um, get this with your kit when you buy it, or you can just print it out for free on our website, g45papers.com, and just go up to that inspiration tab and then go down to project sheets, and it's along uh, it's the Club G45 Volume 5 project sheet. So we've got our project sheet, and we are ready to roll. Step one, we're gonna take four papers and we are cutting them down to be five inches by four inches. And then those same papers we're gonna to cut to be three inches by two inches. And we are using our ocean blue patterns and solids, but you can use any papers you've got in your stash because I'm sure that they are all gonna turn out super cute. Step two, we're choosing four more papers, and we're gonna cut these ones down to be three inches by five and three quarters. However, our stripe, because we want our stripes to be going uh, a certain direction, we've cut this down to be five and three quarters by three inches, and then we'll just use it the same way, but just so we have our stripes going the direction we'd like, we cut it that way. Step three, we're gonna take our bone folder and a scoreboard and we are gonna score all of our uh, five by four inch papers that we have, our four of those, and we are going to score at a half inch and then again at the one inch. And then we will flip until we've done all four sides and all four sides are gonna be the same. So keeping it so easy, half inch, one inch flip, half inch, one inch, and then you will have that nice and scored and you'll do the same with all four of your five by four pieces. Step four, we're gonna start to create our uh, inner box. So we're gonna take our scored five by four sheets and we are gonna be trimming out uh, the corners. So if you look closely, you can see each corner has four little squares on each one and we'll be trimming out the three outer corners leaving this one inner corner. A pro tip when you're getting started cutting your papers, um, since we're using a pattern in solid, uh, seeing our score lines on the pattern side can be a little bit difficult, but if you flip it over it's a lot easier to see where your score lines are which makes creating even more fun when it's easy peasy. And once you turn out the corners your piece should look like this. And now we're gonna create a nice little uh, tabs on these so we can put our box together nice and smoothly. So on your shorter sides, we are gonna be cutting in our tabs here. It doesn't really matter however you choose to do it, just to make it easy on yourself, have them all go the same way. 
And then once we've uh, slit our little tabs, just to make things go together smoothly, we are going to notch out a little V on both sides of all four of those. And then to make things even easier, we're just gonna trim all four of these outer panels about a 16th of an inch, just shaving off just a bit of those. Now we're gonna flip over so we're on our solid side and then grabbing our coordinating a three by two piece that we cut earlier, add some adhesive onto the back and we are going to pop that right on the center of our cut box. This is just adding some more strength to the bottom of our box. And then also a nice decorative inside that's gonna match. Step five, we're gonna take our bone folder and we are just going to be creasing on all of our scored lines. Now we're gonna take some adhesive and we're going to adhere our little tabs on the inside of our box. So this is just going to go with that first panel and we'll be creating a nice 45 degree angle. Graphic 45's favorite angle. And if you're using a liquid adhesive like I am, you just wanna pinch that closed for just a few seconds until it's gonna stay down. Now that we have all four of our tabs adhered in, now we can start putting in our long tabs. So these are just gonna fold inwards. So once we are complete, we are gonna have a nice fully decorated blue Nautilus matchbox. And it's also gonna be double strength, which is gonna be nice and sturdy. Great for holding in all those treasures. And then for some smooth folding, I'm gonna also just notch a tiny bit on an angle on my inner sides. So once I adhere these down, they're gonna go nicely inside over our side flaps, leaving room. So adhere that down and then use your bone folder your bone folder to make sure everything is nice and bonded and then we're going to do the same with all four pieces and voila now you have four open boxes step seven we are going to be taking our other four papers that we cut and we are going to be scoring them along our long side which is the five and three quarters side and we are gonna score them at a half an inch, one inch, and then we are also gonna score at three and one eighths of an inch. And last but not least, three and five eighths. And you'll score all four. And now we are gonna fold on those creases, those score lines we just made, so. Go ahead and fold those all in the same direction. And once we've done that, we're going to now glue our boxes together. So you can see how it's gonna fold. We want this half inch flap to go on the inside of our box. So if I fold with the half inch flap in, and then I can meet where it makes a nice little box. That's where I'm going to put my adhesive and you can use um, wet or dry adhesive here. If you use a wet adhesive, you just wanna make sure you don't go overboard and accidentally glue it all shut. So I just put it on that half inch tab and burnish down. And now I can pop it into place. Now I have four dimensional box sleeves have a little bit of fun with some of our leftover embellishments from our um, collector's box. You can use anything you've got in your stash though that coordinates. It's always fun to add a little extra dimension to your projects. So you can see here I've got one of our banners from our die cut assortment from Ocean Blue. 
and I've added some a foam adhesive on the back side and then just uh, cutting to fit on some of the smaller parts. I cut that uh, the circles in half and you can find um, dimensional foam adhesive on our website under the if you go to the staples tab and then from there click on the adhesive category. So we're going to add our little banner down, which is going to offer a great little space where you could label what's inside your box. And then let's do uh, have a little fun with some of these flowers from our rose bouquet set. And we're using the French lilac blue. And I'm just going to cut the tip, these three leaves, and then use those other leaves for later. But right now I want these three and I'm going to play around with these rose buds. So you can't always cut off the wire and use that later. Or you can wrap it around something um, that you have in your craft space. So like a stylus or a pencil, a paintbrush. And you can kind of form these cute little vines. All right, so then once you have your pieces that you'd like, we're just gonna take some liquid adhesive and start to adhere things down. So we're gonna adhere our leaves down and I've adhered them so they're curling upwards, but you could go either way. And then adding some adhesive to your rosebud on a flat area. So far, it's looking really cute. And then from our die cut assortments, we've got a butterfly. And just to give it some extra shape, I'm going to curl its wings on the back side of. You can do this with how I'm doing it with some scissors, but you could also do it with a paintbrush. Just kind of, or a stylus curling, giving your butterfly wings some extra dimension. And then I'll add adhesive to the butterfly's body. And there you have it. Now we've created a super cute little dimensional decoration. And so here is our original inspiration. So you can always mix it up and add the extra bits and pieces that you'd like. And then to show you some examples of what we've done with our other ones, using some more of those French lilac rosebuds and some more of those leaves. We've got another banner and then just adding this cute little sign in the back. Another butterfly. So this is a fun idea as well. You can see there we've cut those leaves apart and then just added them behind the die cuts. So there's a die cut rose and just added those leaves, giving it some nice extra texture. And then our last but not least box, this super cute one. We've got another rosebud. This one is uh, the darker blue that comes in that same pack. We hope that you've had as much fun as we have creating these little matchbook boxes. And when you are finished creating yours, be sure to share your projects with us on Instagram using our graphic 45 hashtag, or go ahead and join us on our graphic 45 community page on Facebook, and you can share there with other G 45ers. Uh, we thank you so much um, for participating and also be sure if you're looking for more tutorials like this one to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time we've got a new fun and fabulous tutorial. We hope you're all staying safe out there and happy paper crafting.